So there are three fundamental laws of money flow. Money is predictable in the way it behaves because it is a tool. It's a tool made by machines and those machines are made by man. So actually money is predictable in how it flows. So I'm going to share with you the three laws of money flow. Let me ask you this so you can ask you this. Are you leveraging these rules and laws of money? Do you understand how money flows and money moves through the economy, through other people, to you, through you and away from you? And these quick laws of money should help you. I'll keep it nice and brief. And I've got a special gift for you as well for staying with me. So law number one of money flow is that money flows from those who value it least to those who value it most. Let me say that again. Money flows from those who value it least to those who value it most. So those that use money to alleviate their pains and addictions, who are addicted to spending, who spend more than they earn, who get into debt through consumerism, they will earn money and it will flow through them very quickly. They will relinquish it and it will be gone. But that money will flow to those who value money, those who save money, those who respect money, those who manage and master money, those who invest money and those who know how to appreciate money because what you appreciate, appreciates. So that's law number one of money flow. Law number two of money flow is money flows from those who manage it worst to those who manage it best. So money comes to those who never budget uh, and they spend more than they earn and you cannot master what you do not measure. And they spend emotionally and flippantly. And they are frivolous and loose and footloose and fancy free. And so that money is through their hands like sand. But it goes to those who budget, plan, never spend more than they earn, always pay their credit card off, earn interest and income from assets rather than accruing debt from debts, interest from debts. Compounding is the eighth law of the world, the wonder of the world, according to Warren Buffett. Now, when you have assets that produce income and you reinvest that income back into assets and you create multiple streams of recurring income, you will see compounding as a wonder of the world. But it works just as big in reverse. It's a snowball, but debt snowballs. When you have pay interest on interest on interest, your debt can grow very quickly. So money flows from those who manage it worst, like sand through their hands, to those who manage it best. And then the third law of money flow is money flows from those who manage their emotions the worst to those who manage their emotions the best. So money flows through the economy. Each individual polymer note will flow thousands of times through the economy. But more will flow out than flows in to those who manage money badly, manage their emotions badly and value money in low priority compared to other um, things that they're addicted to spending on. But when it comes through to those who manage it well, who value it well, who manage their emotions well, they will put that money into assets to protect it from inflation. That capital value of their assets will go up in capital appreciation and it will produce income. And then they'll take profit from the income and reinvest it back into assets to create more income. So when you manage your emotions well, when you're emotionally high and excited, you won't spend too much. And when you're emotionally down and depressed, you won't hoard too much or spend too much to alleviate the pain. But what most of you humanity do is when they're really high, they spend too much because they're critical decision-making faculties, uh, fa faculties um, are off the chart because they're just high on emotions. And then when they're down and depressed, they'll spend all the money to get rid of their pain, whether it's how they look or how they feel or their, their addictions, or they'll hoard money and never spend it through, through fear. And um, money, no one gives money to a hoarder. So these are the three universal laws of money flow. If you found this really useful and interesting, please hit the share button. I said it'd be a short, powerful one. Reminder that the three universal laws of money flow are that money flows from those who value it least to those who value it most, from those who manage it worst to those who manage it best, and from those who manage their emotions badly to those who manage their emotions well, from those who have volatile emotions to those who have balanced and neutral emotions. So like I said, please hit the share button if you found this useful, because I think right now 
in the world we live in, we need to support each other. You know, inflation is super high. Cost of living is super high. Gas, electric, oil, food, travel, higher than ever. Your relative affordability, lower than it's been since the 40s, apparently. Tax, really high and only getting higher. So we need to learn to manage and master our emotions around money and manage and master money. Like the money masters. And I wrote the book on money. And I have a podcast called Money. So, you know, I, I sort of should know. Now, I've got a special gift for you. Like I said, it's coming up in a couple of days' time, so you'll need to do it now. But if you'd like to learn how to make more money, how to close the sale, how to put money in the bank, how to manage your emotions around money, how to master your self-worth to master your net worth, simply go to tiny.cc forward slash Rob Money. And there you'll join a 90-minute plus Q&A Zoom masterclass and mastermind session with me, yours truly, live, not recorded. Although there will not be a recording or a replay. So that's tiny.cc forward slash Rob Money. Now I'm going to give you access to a 90 minute piece of content I did on increasing your self-worth to increase your net worth when you um, register at tiny.cc forward slash Rob Money. Um, But live, I'm going to teach you how to get uncomfortable earning small so you can earn large. How to ask for the sale, how to close the um, money, how to put the money in the bank, um, how to finally get the cash, how to get the raise, how to get the commissions, how to make the sale, clarity on your offer, making your products and services compelling and sexy and um, appealing, powerful and profitable pricing, the six different elements of increasing your fees with ease. And then when people reject you, say they can't afford it, say they're not giving you a pay rise, what to do and how to overcome it and how to get those pay rises and put that extra money in the bank. Simply go to tiny.cc forward slash Rob money right now. Thanks for all your kind comments. Hit the share button. Let's share this useful, important information around managing money to as many people as we can because of the disruptive times that we're in. And remember, the three universal laws of money flow is money moves from those who value at least to those who value it most. It moves from those who manage it worst to those who manage it best. It moves from those who manage their emotions the worst to those who manage their emotions the best. That's the link, Jill, tiny.cc forward slash Rob Money for more training from me, how to close a sale, put money in the bank and turn your, increase your self-worth and turn it into net worth. Thanks for tuning in. You're a legend. And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.